Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got back from grocery shopping and I'm going to be doing a grocery haul for you guys. Um, as always, I will have the WW points down below so you know the points to everything that I am showing you. So today I was able to go to Trader Joe's, which is like one of my favorite places to grocery shop and Whole Foods because I needed to get a couple things that Trader Joe's just didn't have. Um, so let's just get into this grocery haul. Um, so first I'm going to do Whole Foods because I got less stuff there. So, um, the first thing, this is in like no specific order. I am just grabbing what is in the bag. I got some of these organic morning O's. These are actually for the baby. Um, he loves Cheerios in the morning with some bananas. So I got him some of those. That's a huge bag too that will last me forever. Um, I also picked up these Everything Kaiser Rolls from Whole Foods. My whole car smells like Everything Rolls now. These smell so good, but tomorrow we're gonna be going on a hike and we're bringing like a little picnic with us. So we're gonna be making some sandwiches. So I thought it would be nice to have some of these rolls with us. We did pick up a loaf of Italian bread. This is for dinner tomorrow. Um, we're gonna be having some Italian bread with some veggie pasta and things like that. So I got some Italian bread. What else? This whole bag is like bread. And then I needed to get the Dave's Killer Bread, the thin sliced Dave's Killer Bread. And this is for me and you know the kids. Um, the boys both like this. Uh, bread and it is low points on WW so this is like one of my favorite breads to buy that and Ezekiel breads really good um, I just grabbed the baby some of these little stony field organic yo baby yogurts he loves those so I give him those once in a while um, I needed some creamer I did not Ugh. Why? So I've been out of creamer for a while and um, I actually don't really use creamer. I usually use almond milk or oat milk in my coffees in the morning and nothing has been like tasting right. Everything's just been kind of off and um, I just haven't been enjoying any of my coffee. But um, I wanted to try the Khalifa oat creamer, but I did not look at the top and it is in the flavor hazelnut. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be taking this back. I really don't like flavored creamers. I just wanted regular oat creamer. So I'll probably be taking this back tomorrow and getting a plain one, but I'll leave the points down below for anybody who's interested in um, how much the hazelnut Khalifa oat creamer is. I picked up a thing of the bitchin' sauce. This is from Whole Foods. I've never had this, but I've heard great things about this. Um, it has water, grapeseed oil, almonds, lemon juice, soy sauce, nutritional yeast, garlic spices, and sea salt. And I have no idea what I put this on, but I wanted to try it. It's an almond dip. You could probably just dip like vegetables and stuff in it. So I got that. I just got some regular organic unsweetened almond milk. Um, I don't really like the one from Trader Joe's. And then I picked up some of these Mi Rancho um, organic flour tortillas. I wanted the corn ones, but they were out of the corn. So I just opted for these. And yeah, there's only like one gram of sugar and no sugar or something in these. Um, but I've never had this brand of tortillas, so I wanted to try those. And I'll be making a like chicken salad and some rotisserie chicken that I'll be using for lunches. And so I wanted some tortillas because I didn't go get my Olay wraps this week. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. But next up, let's get into Trader Joe's, one of my favorite places to go for food. This is also in no specific order. I'm just going to pull everything out. I've got a couple bags here. So 
Um, first, thing, first thing I got was this sliced prosciutto. I wanted to make the um, two ingredient dough and make some like prosciutto arugula pizza. So I got some prosciutto, love prosciutto. I grabbed some smoked turkey breast from Trader Joe's to use for our sandwiches. And then my husband picked out, um, oh, I thought he picked out something else. This salami um, provolone cheese duo thing. I didn't even know he grabbed this, um, but that's nice. So he got that. I grabbed some of these organic silver dollar pancakes. These are for the baby and my son. If I don't feel like making homemade pancakes. Um, my husband just grabbed the mini hold the cone chocolate chip um, ice creams. I think these are three points a piece, three or four points a piece. Those are so good if you just want something sweet after dinner. These are like a huge WW staple from Trader Joe's for me. These reduced fat or reduced guilt mac and cheeses. If you just need something in a pinch, I like to bring these to work with me. Or just throw my bag and go. Those are pretty low points and they're really good. Also, if you add in the Tyson um, chicken that I always make in the air fryer, delicious and extra protein. <laughs> always grab a box of organic jasmine rice. This is just a staple in our house and I've told you guys plenty of times how I cannot make rice no matter how I make it, so I buy the frozen bags and make it easy on myself. Um, I just got a thing of this uncured turkey bacon and I wanted their fully cooked turkey bacon or their fully cooked bacon just to make my life easier, but they didn't have any. So I just went with that option um, for now. This is new. I got the Trader Joe's loaded potato, diced potatoes with ground beef, tomatoes and cheeses. I don't know it just it looked delicious this will be a good snack it's 290 calories per one cup and for this whole thing it's 490 calories so that's pretty high in points but I just wanted to try something new moving on I've actually already opened these because the baby wanted one but they are the organic apple fruit sauce crushers I actually love these from Trader Joe's the only thing in it is organic apple puree and vitamin C for freshness um, and there's not a lot of sugar on it and I was gonna get the organic unsweetened applesauce which had way more sugar than these did so that's why I um, this is just a Trader Joe's staple these reduced fat pita chips I grab them all the time I love using those to dip in anything Trader Joe's dips they're just so delicious mini little peppers um i use those to snack on i stuff them with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning and lately i've been really into little mini pepper nachos um so i've been cutting those up and making nachos with them just some bananas again bananas some arugula um this is gonna go on my pizza but i actually like this for the morning just some arugula fry an egg on top a little bit of salsa so good a bag of organic avocados they're not organic avocados those are just a bag of avocados some green beans i'm going to be making some one can meals this week so i got some asparagus green beans for that i already have like chicken sausage in my house um, that i will use for the one pan meal and then um I have some tilapia that I wanted to cook um, to pair with some asparagus. I just needed a red onion. Just some mini cucumbers. I'm just loving cucumbers lately and I've just been cutting them up and eating them with um, the tzatziki dip from Trader Joe's. Um, just a yellow onion. Some strawberries. Love some fruit and edamame this is definitely like a staple it's high in protein such a good snack you just grab and eat it's so delicious i love edamame broccoli my bags are falling just some broccoli i got 
two bags of the Trader Joe's shredded light mozzarella cheese. This is only a point um, per ounce, which I really like, and it's way better than the Kraft fat-free um, mozzarella cheese, and it melts really well. So I like that, and I'll be using that on my pizzas or my pepper nachos, anything like that. I grabbed this light cheddar cheese. It's just sliced cheese that I will be using on my sandwich or whatever. This is new. It is the Trader Joe's Spicy Cashew Butter Dressing. It has cashew butter, lime juice, ginger, cilantro, and red chili peppers. That sounds so delicious, so I cannot wait to try that one. We always grab some Mandarin chicken when we are at Trader Joe's. It's just a staple in our house. And I actually never seen this one, but barbecue chicken teriyaki. Um, I got this so my son could try because he is obsessed with Mandarin chicken from Trader Joe's. But I have never, he loves barbecue, like barbecue wings and things like that. So I thought he would like this one to try. I got some petite peas. These are really good in like crock pot recipes, soups. Um, but the baby loves peas. I gave him peas for the first time the other day and he like gobbled them up right away. So I got him some peas, but I'm also thinking I want to make like a um, shepherd's pie this week with some cauliflower mash, peas, carrots, um, some like cheddar cheese and um, either ground beef or ground turkey which I already have. So you're gonna see today, I don't have any, I don't think I have any meats or anything like that um, because we already were stocked up on like chicken and beef and ground turkey and all of that. Um, I picked up the Trader Joe's vegan tzatziki dip. This is delicious if you guys have never tried it. This is so good with those reduced fat pita chips and cucumbers, so yummy. This is one that's been out, but I have yet to try. It is the vegan caramelized onion dip, and it's also dairy free, but I heard really good things about this dip too. So I actually want to try it. Should I start trying stuff on camera for you guys? Would you guys like if I um, did like taste testing to their new items? Cause I really want to dig into this right now. Um, I just got some organic hummus, just plain hummus for the baby. He loves it on his little rice crackers. This is such a good, I don't even think, how many points would this be, like zero? Um, the Trader Joe's Shrimp Stir Fry. This is like, you can have this whole bag for 190 calories. Um, it has broccoli, shrimp, sugar snap peas, water chestnuts, bean sprouts, red bell peppers, and gourmet pepper seasoning. This is such a good low point quick meal for dinner. If you are in a pinch, add some rice if you want, add cauliflower rice, um, such a good go-to. So I highly recommend you grabbing that if you like shrimp, obviously. Um, another staple, their buffalo chicken dip. Have to get this, my husband has to have it. So we got that. And then I always grab the Trader Joe's Pico de Gallo. This is a mild. I usually try and get the hot, but they didn't have any. So this is really good on eggs and even with those reduced fat pita chips. Such a good snack. Last bag. This is so good. So you can have, I think, two and a half cups of this white cheddar corn puffs for like four points. Um, I will obviously double check that before I put it in the corner, but this popcorn is so good. I don't know what I'm going to with it. My husband just grabbed a bag of these organic corn tortilla chips for himself. I grabbed my son some of these spicy cheese crunchies. He loves these. I always pick them up from Trader Joe's. I got some little tomatoes for salads. I also picked up the donut peaches from Trader Joe's. These weren't there the last time I went and I love these peaches. They're so delicious. So I got a container of those. Just a jar of the Trader Joe's um, tomato basil marinara. This one's pretty good on points. So I'm probably just gonna be using this to put on like 
zucchini and make a veggie pasta. I got a thing of the Trader Joe's queso cheese dip. I don't know what I want to put this on, but I might just spread it on top of my pepper nachos if I make those tonight. Maybe I'll make those tonight. I know it sounds so good, but um, it's actually, I think it's only one point for two tablespoons of this queso dip. So I want to do that. I want to try that. I haven't had that queso yet. I just picked up a pack of pistachios. These are dry roasted, unsalted pistachios, nut meats, half in pieces. I didn't feel like doing shells, so I just wanted pistachios. I was craving them. And the last two things I grabbed was just a thing of pink Himalayan salt. I ran out and I actually got two of these, but I ate one in the car. They are the Barbells Protein Bar. And the one I ate in the car was salty peanut. It was okay, um, but the Barbell's Caramel Cashew is where it's at. So, 20 grams of protein, no added sugar. So, if you haven't tried, I highly suggest you try it. But that is it, you guys. That is my grocery haul for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some stuff that uh, you wanna either try or um, you found this video useful. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.